crushing blows to her head. Also, the three gunshot wounds, two to the chest, I believe, and one to the abdomen, but very, uh, any one of those gunshot wounds would have killed her, uh, and they were inflicted at uh, virtually point-blank range. The amount of violence that he directed towards her shows that it's coming from a much deeper source. Had then he left in such a panic that she was actually in the doorway. He didn't even leave her in the hotel room itself. Mark Pines heard the news early the next morning. My phone rang. It was Carmen, Jalissa's mom. She said, Jalissa died. That was the first person she called. And we just sat on the phone and we cried and moaned and sobbed. Meanwhile, Boston police were confronted with a dreadful mystery. Dan Duff called me while he was en route to the scene at the Marriott. And he said, you know, Bobby, we got hit. Um, and it looks like it might be a college student down at a Marriott hotel. We had a lot of college students and their parents visiting, and the Boston Marathon was taking place, so there were a ton of people in the city, and uh, here you had in the middle of all this uh, a horrific murder. The case, a beautiful young woman savagely murdered in a high-class hotel, sent a wave of fear through Boston. Police launched a non-stop push to find the man now known as the Craigslist killer. Behind the scenes, it's round the clock. It's 24-7. It's uh, sleeping in the unit, sleeping in a chair, changing a shirt, grabbing a shower, living on coffee and adrenaline for, for days on end. Local beat cops recognized the killer's style. Detectives who had responded to the scene said, Lieutenant, you know, we had one of these the other night, a couple of days ago over at the Western Hotel, very similar. Quickly, we were able to link the cases, both at a downtown hotel, both at, uh, offering some sort of adult services, and both contacted uh, via a Craigslist posting. We knew we had a connection between the two cases. The crucial connection was the man they saw in surveillance photos from the murder. They called in Trisha Leffler to show her. They gave me another photo, and I said, this is a really good picture of him. Where did you get it? This is, you know, from the lobby. And they said, no, that's from another hotel. There was a girl killed at the Marriott last night, and we think this guy had something to do with it. And that's when I know that I made the right decision in calling the cops and telling them what he had done to me, because now I really wanted him to be caught. Hoping someone else would recognize the Craigslist killer, police quickly released the surveillance photos. 